Did you get a new mobile phone over the holidays? It's always exciting to get the latest technology, but oftentimes people don't think about the security risks that come along with tech gear. This morning, we're learning how to protect our devices in 2018 and joining me, Ojis Reggae, mobile security expert with Mobile Iron. Good morning. Good morning, nice to be here. Nice of you to join us. This is a very important topic. Uh, why is it important to take steps to protect our mobile devices? Our mobile phones are more important than our wallets these days. They have so much personal information on them. They've, of course, got your photos and they've got your emails, but they've also got many times your banking information, some of your healthcare information. So we've all got to take a very, very uh, structured, uh, disciplined approach to protecting that data. Yeah, I got to tell you, it's crazy to say I would rather lose my wallet than my phone these days. <laughs> It's totally true. If I, if I forget my phone at home, I'll drive back and get it. If I forget my wallet, I won't. Uh-huh. I agree. Well, if you are, are aware now, of what we've done from a... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, I was just going to say that uh, to protect that data, though, there are definitely approaches that people can take. And I think that if we all take these approaches one at a time, it makes it a lot harder for hackers to get to that important data. Well, what are some tips that you have for us this morning? All of our phones are really connection hungry. Whenever they see Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connection, they want it. They want to connect right there and then. <laughs> but you don't know what's on the other side of that connection. You don't know who's running that network. So the recommendation that we have is turn off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, except when you need them. And when you need them, don't share too much information. I was traveling over the holidays and I was renting a car. And of course, I wanted to use hands-free so I could talk while I was driving. I connected my phone over Bluetooth to the car and the phone asked me if I wanted to synchronize my personal contacts to the car. And of course, I said, I want to talk on the phone, but no, I don't want my contacts to be in the car for the next person who rents this car from Hertz to have access to. Totally fine to connect, but be careful how you do it and don't overshare your information. That's some great advice. Uh, what are some of the latest security risks that we really should be aware of in 2018 that we can keep an eye out for? There are many hackers who try to get to your phone through the USB connection. So when you're charging your phone, for example, don't just plug it in anywhere. Find a wall socket, plug it in there, or if you're traveling a lot, use a portable charger. Stay away from those USB charging kiosks that you see at airports or at shopping malls because they can give people access to the information on your, uh, on your phone. The other thing that you can also do is go beyond the password. So all of us generally have a password on our phone. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a one, two, three, four. But a lot of these phones that people got over the holidays, they also support fingerprints or even facial recognition. So if your phone does that, use it because no one can copy your fingerprint looking over your shoulder. A lot of great advice. I uh, really appreciate that. Where can our consumers go for more information on what we discussed today? We've consolidated a lot of these tips at uh, mobileiron.com slash security tips. It'll help you keep your personal information safe. Thanks so much for your time today, Ogis. Thank you very much.